There's a chance you've heard about gray matter and white matter in our bodies. Usually we might think of the brain and a mad scientist, or of an actual brain surgeon, but what actually are gray and white matter? To begin, they are both tissue regions of the brain and spinal cord, aka the central nervous system, or CNS for short. Gray matter is made up of cell bodies. It also gets its gray color from these cell bodies and the dendrites of the neurons within the tissue. The cortex, which has an outer layer of gray matter and nucleus or center of neuron cell bodies either close to the edge or way inside the brain, show why a general brain structure is composed of gray matter. The cerebral cortex and the cerebral nuclei, both the outside of the cerebrum and the deep inner part of the cerebrum, are composed of gray matter. So is the outside of the cerebellum, aka the cerebellar cortex. But what does gray matter do? Gray matter uses synapses which allow integration and processing to occur. White matter, on the other hand, is made to broadcast nerve signals. It sends information to and between the brain and spinal cord and the brain in the body. Instead of cell bodies, it's actually made up of nerve fibers. It gets its color from tracks from myelinated axon bundles. These tracks are located not unlike gray matter, either on the outer surface of the CNS or deeply embedded in it. Now that we've learned a quick breakdown of gray and white matter in the central nervous system, make sure to nurture your brain. Take walks, get some sunshine, eat right, sleep and exercise. Not only will things like that improve your emotional and mental health, it will do wonders for your CNS. Remember, your body is your temple.